everybody. Welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is part of our homeschool show and tell series. The homeschool show and tell series is hosted by Abby from Rooted in Rest and myself and it is an open collaboration brought to you the second Tuesday of every month. We welcome homeschoolers from around the world to join in because our goal is to show that homeschooling is as unique as the people on the journey and that it is not one size fits all. Last month, in case you missed it, we talked about planning and organization, which you can catch right there. This month, we're going to be talking about Morning Basket. Now, before we get started, make sure you check out all of the links in the description box down below because there you're going to find this month's playlist so that you can see all of the amazing homeschoolers that are going to be sharing their morning baskets, as well as a blog post with more information in case you would like to join us this month or in future months. And you are also going to find the links for the blog post specific to the morning basket that you're going to see Emily and I doing in just a moment. Before I show you us actually doing morning basket, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our morning basket. Now, morning baskets are vastly different. They are taking the homeschool world by storm, but they are literally whatever you want them to be. I know some people who change them out daily, some people change them out weekly, some people change them out monthly, some people change them out just once a year at the beginning of the year. There is no wrong way to do it. For us and our family, Morning Basket is a time to start our day, to lay the foundation, and to connect kind of first thing in the morning. So it helps us just get a slow start to the morning, connect, and just make sure that we're having like that togetherness as a family. So we do a little bit of reading, we do some Mad Libs because they're Emily's favorite. We normally have a few hands-on activities and a game thrown in there. Now this year, in case you missed it, I will link it up here. My big morning basket announcement is that Emily is actually choosing all of our themes and putting our morning baskets together. It was a great way for us to do something that we pride ourselves on, which is following her lead and letting her, you know, kind of have that say in her education. So she is actually the one organizing all of our morning baskets for the year. She's picking the theme, she's picking what's going in them. And I have actually really been enjoying that she's kind of taking the lead on that. Now, don't worry, I still have all of the say in our bedtime basket. So all of those things that were super important to me are still getting done on a daily basis. Things like our journal and our devotion, um, those are all still happening. They're just happening at bedtime instead of morning time. I feel like we will start our day by filling her bucket and then we end it by kind of filling mine. In many ways, Joe was a lot like Harry's brainy friend, Hermione Granger. Joe once told a group of students at school in Montclair, New Jersey, that she herself was never as clever or as annoying as Hermione. Yet, she could be a know-it-all on the outside while inside she was very insecure. She also got good grades in school like Hermione did. Then she discovered a new favorite writer, Jane Austen. Jane Austen was writing books almost 200 years before J.K. Rowling. Ready for Mad Libs? Always. All right, so this one is called, Hi, I'm Harry Potter. All right, so don't look over here. Give me an adjective. Adjective. That's a scrubby. Mm-hmm. Okay, red. 
Another adjective? Um, car. Okay, a plural noun. A plural noun, I would like kids. You know how much I love cats. Okay, another plural noun? Hmm, let's see, owls. Because we have owls in this place, and thus movies and Okay, stuff. an adjective? Another adjective, let's see, fluffy. Fluffy, okay. A name? A name. Hermione Granger. How about just Hermione? Better. That's what I meant. Okay. Another noun? Hmm. Let's see. I know, what about Emily? Hmm. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Another noun? Another noun. Let's see. Mommy. Mommy, okay. And you got to be in the story, too. Yeah, all right, food. Ooh, food. Reese's. Yeah, what would anything in Emily's life be without Reese's candy? <laughs> all right, almost done. Adjective? Adjective. Okay, let's describe the Reese's as bumpy. Bumpy, all right. Because they kind of have, like, that crisp edge area looking kind of like a pie. Okay, what about one more noun? One more noun. Okay, let's see. Books. School books. Okay. Schools are need for school. Alright, I will fill this in and then I'm going to let you read it. Ooh, fun. I get to read it. You know how much I love reading. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Harry Potter. I was raised by my red aunt and uncle who are very hard to me and made me sleep in the cupboard under the kitten. <laughs> they were kittens. They were sleeping the under the kittens, huh? This all changed on my 11th birthday when loads of owls started appearing at the door to my house. That's funny. You picked owls and that was actually the true story when the yeah. owls are. <laughs> yeah, but there were supposed to be letters on the ground, which mm -hmm. is what it meant. But still, we the, the owls. owls did bring them. Yeah. Okay, you're right here. My uncle would take them far away from me, and we even moved to try to avoid them. One day, during a storm, the front door to our, our house was knocked down, and a man named Hermione. A fluffy man named Hermione. I know that man. That's actually Hagrid, not Hermione. <laughs> yeah.